welcome to my week 18 bump update. I cannot believe that I am 18 weeks. I think just like in my last video, I just get kind of confused with the weeks. They all kind of just blend together until the 20 week. Um, and I'm just so excited for that. Actually, in a couple days, this weekend, this upcoming weekend, we are going to get a 3D, 4D ultrasound done, um, and then we will know baby's gender, which is exciting, but then it's not exciting because I'm not going to know baby's gender. <laughs> so I've read a lot of different things about um, people's opinion on elective ultrasounds. A lot of people think it's a waste of time, a waste of money, um, different things like that. But in my situation, I just think it was really, it's really useful. I wanted to get a 3D, 4D ultrasound done because um, my 20 week scan, which is where they do the anatomy at my doctor's office, the only time they could get it was right in the middle of the day. And Anthony can't get off of work for that. So I wanted to go to, I wanted to schedule something that Anthony could go to, see the baby. He's been really supportive so far in my pregnancy but I just want it to be a little more real for him I want it to be more special for him I want him to be able to picture it so that is why I scheduled this appointment I'm really excited for it another bonus to doing this is we do it on the weekend so of course Anthony can come and my family's also coming um, so it will be super nice to have them there um, and then at this ultrasound only two people are going to know uh, baby's gender and it will be Anthony and my mom and Anthony he has not budged on this since day one he wants to know um, baby's gender he wants to be the first one to know he I kept trying to ask him please 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 you know wait until the gender reveal it'll be so much more fun but he refused and you know at first I was kind of annoyed and he I'm like oh he's just so stubborn but um, the other way I've been thinking about it is well you know at least he cares about the baby and he wants and he's like excited to know the gender and he wants to know the gender instead of what he could be which is not caring at all and he doesn't even want to see the baby on the ultrasound so i've been trying to look at it in more of a positive light so i'm very excited that he's going to know he has told me that he's going to torture me with the information for as long as he is allowed um, basically he and my mom will know the baby's gender for two weeks until the rest of us know. So that's going to be so torturous. But I told Anthony, well, as soon as you know the gender, you better start buying some baby stuff. And he was like, ha, ha, ha. Um, my mom, I'm having her know just because she's in charge of setting up the gender reveal party. We're having it at my mom's house, so it'll just be easier for her to know she can get the right color we're gonna do confetti cannon and that's how we're gonna find out the gender so it'll just be easier for her to just know the gender and get the right stuff so that's what i'm doing that's the plan my siblings were mad that they are not allowed to know the gender either but i keep telling them well i'm not gonna know the gender either so you guys you know i'm in the same boat as you and that kind of gets them a little bit happier so I'm super excited. Um, I know a lot of people say to go to the 3D, 4D ultrasound when you're way later in your pregnancy, like towards the end. So I'm hoping that I'll still be able to see baby and what baby looks like, uh, just a short glimpse of it. I'm just really excited to see because as you all know, all I've, all I've been able to see so far is the eight week ultrasound picture, which was ba baby as a blob. So, <laughs> I am done with baby blob. I am ready for baby to look like a baby. Cannot wait. I'm sure I'll have some pictures to show you guys. Um, and I'll put it on the next vlog. So, subscribe. Stay updated because you're not going to want to miss that. This week, week 18, baby is the size of a sweet potato or a bell pepper which is huge. Um, I cook bell peppers all the time and that's enormous. Um, another thing that my app told me, which is kind, which was easier to picture, was they said that baby is the size of a pop can. Um, so I used to drink pop all the time. So, I mean, that's pretty big, um, very exciting. Uh, this week, baby is just uh, doing more reflexes. Um, again, the skeleton is just getting harder. Um, it's growing more. I think it's like seven and a half ounces now. Um, 
So it's just getting bigger. I just I I, I love seeing the progress through um, the app. They said baby's ears are now firmly in place. Eyes are firmly in place. It looks like a baby. Um, fingerprints are still forming. So all very exciting things. Symptoms, actually week 18 has just been awesome. So again, like I haven't had nausea for a long time. Heartburn, last week I got it pretty bad a couple of days, but as soon as I took Tums it would be fine. I really haven't had heartburn um, the past couple of days at all, or if I do it's like super mild and then it goes away right away. So I haven't been dealing with that. Headaches, I haven't been having a headache for a long time. The biggest change is tiredness. I actually can stay up now. Like I used to be 10, 10, 30 rolls around and I was in bed. I could not stay up later. These past couple of nights, I've been staying up until midnight and we just had uh, daylight savings. And so really last night, I was really up to like 1 a.m. instead of midnight. But I'm just like, I'm feeling great. I'm not tired. I'm actually able to do things. I don't want to just pass out on the couch when I get home from work. I mean, I just feel great. They say that your second trimester is the best trimester, and I agree with them. I mean, I just feel great. I feel back to myself. Um, there's really not too much. I have been really, really thirsty lately, like, like crazy thirsty. Um, almost back to where I was at the very beginning of my pregnancy. I'm just so thirsty. I'm thirsty right now. So I've been drinking a ton more, which is good because I have not been drinking enough in the past, I know for sure. Something really exciting this week, actually just today. So today, when I do these vlogs, I do them about towards the end of my week. So really today, I am 18 weeks and five days. Um, so I'm towards the end of my 18 week uh, pregnancy and today just today I actually now I don't know if it's if what I'm feeling is right or not but I'm pretty sure I felt baby kick move inside of me it's the weirdest feeling ever I was on my lunch break at work and I was driving around and then all of a sudden I just felt these like it feel to me it felt like somebody was poking me from the inside and I was like, that has got to be baby. I mean, I have been agonized over why haven't I felt baby yet? And, and then if I do feel something, it's like, is that gas or is that baby? But I'm pretty sure that this was baby poking me. So now I keep trying to feel it more and more like, ah, can I feel it anymore? Like, is that true? Was I just imagining it? So I'm really, really excited. I've been waiting to feel this. Um, I can't just, I can't wait for the kicks to get stronger so that I know for sure that is baby. Um, but it's just another uh, reminder that yes, baby is there, baby's doing well, and baby is continuing to grow. They say um, a lot of first time moms won't feel the kicks until later in pregnancy around this time or 20 weeks or even as late as like 22 to 24 weeks. Um, second time, third time, fourth time around moms will feel it way earlier just because they know what to feel and their muscles are loosened. So I was just being really impatient with, I just really want to feel what this baby, you know, this baby. So I'm really excited that I felt my first couple of movements. I can't wait until they get so strong that Anthony can feel them because I just think he, I think it would just help him get more excited about it and just realize like this is real, this is really happening. On the subject of Anthony, he has actually been really, really great, really sweet. Um, like I was saying, I think in my last vlog, he um, he will, every day now he asks me, how is baby doing? Um, how, like, just asking me different things about baby. If I talk about baby, he'll listen, he'll ask questions. I have my what to expect when you're expecting book and it has little blurbs that are for fathers. And I'll say, hey Anthony, look, there's this thing for fathers. And he'll say, okay, read it to me. So he's being 
awesome. Um, the beginning of the pregnancy, he really didn't want to talk about baby much. I think it just didn't really settle in for him. And he would just kind of, you know, I'd say, oh, baby loves you. And he'd be like, oh, baby, it's just, it's too little. So I think, um, which we were talking about this the other day, he's just kind of made more of a mental effort to just support me and ask more about baby and just be there for me more. So I really appreciate it. We've grown really close lately, so I just, I love him. Um, more symptoms, which I keep forgetting to talk about this. It, I've been noticing this for a couple weeks now, and I just, I'll, I won't think of to mention it till after I finish filming, and I don't want to get back on. But what, a couple things that I've been noticing since my tummy has been getting bigger is, one, I feel like my belly is way more hairy than what it was. Um, I just look down and it just looks like way more hairy than what it was. I don't know if that's normal or what, or if it's just my imagination, but I just feel like my tummy looks hairy. And then another thing that I notice is my belly button. I have um, an any belly button. And I just feel like ever since my stomach started growing, it has gotten huge. It just, it, it's, it seems like it's bigger. The hole is bigger. I don't know. So those are just things I just wanted to document so that I would always remember. I just think that feels really weird. I'm still able to fit in my clothes. Um, my pants have been getting tighter though. And my shirt are definitely tighter so I've been telling Anthony we need to go shopping I need to start getting some things because pretty soon here I'm not going to be able to fit in my pants and my shirts and then I will be in trouble so soon I will definitely go shopping and I'll probably show some of the clothes on here maybe I'll do a shopping haul video or something I really haven't had any cravings the one thing that I've really been craving throughout my whole pregnancy has been chocolate chip cookies so random but I always think about them and actually I was able to make them the other day so I've been eating chocolate chip cookies and they've been tasting really really good um, but nothing crazy like oh my gosh I have to have it have to have it have to have it um, and then uh, food aversions still the same chicken I don't want to touch broccoli I don't want to touch and steak I don't want to touch so those are the same emotional I feel like my emotions have been pretty stable lately um beforehand they were like really crazy and i would be crying all the time and ha really happy one second really sad one second i feel like my emotions have pretty much um stabilized although yesterday i did get really upset um out of the blue i just felt like anthony was talking to me harshly and then like something wasn't going right I was trying to do it on my computer and so I was just feeling really emotional other than that I've been pretty stable which is good my hands have been really dry lately I've been having to put lotion on them every time I get out of the shower every time I wash my hands they'll just get so dry and I'm not sure if that's just because it's getting colder outside and that's it or if it's because of my pregnancy or both um, I have noticed in the past, when I was younger, I never used lotion, never needed it. I, my hands were never dry. Past couple years, I have noticed in the winter time, my hands will get a little bit dry and I'll need it every so often. So I don't know if it's just the weather, pregnancy, both, I'm not sure, but that has been really annoying to have to put on lotion all the time. Um, I'm still using my cream for my belly to try to prevent stretch marks. I have not noticed any stretch marks so far, so is it working? Maybe? Um, I'm still taking a prenatal vitamin every day. I do feel like my nails have been growing really fast, a lot faster than what they used to, and I feel like my hair is growing a lot faster too. So that's been really exciting to see. I still don't know if baby's a boy or a girl. Uh, basically everyone in my family thinks girl. Everyone in Anthony's family thinks girl. Um, I'm basically the only team boy. Anthony thinks girl as well. So in a couple weeks we will be able to finally know what baby is. Um, we're in November right now and so a lot of the Black Friday ads have been coming out and there's been a lot of good deals on baby uh, things. So I'm starting to look into those looking into reviews and starting to get an idea of what we want to do 
Um, I feel like lately I've been getting that nesting instinct really bad. I really wanted to do, start working on the nursery, paint it, get stuff in it. I have no furniture right now, but it's just been like I've been stressing out about the nursery. Basically, the room that the nursery is in is going to be what our guest room is right now. So we have to move the bed out of that room and into the other room. Um, and then I want to paint it and I haven't really decided I'm kind of fluctuating between either doing like a gray color or either like a blue or pink color I really don't know what I want to do so I still have time to think about that but I have really been wanting to get into the nursery to start working on it I also have been noticing that I've been really hot lately even though it's like cold outside I'll still get really hot which is so crazy because like I say in all my videos I am usually a really cold person so that's been different. I'm like my own heater. It's kind of nice um, instead of always being freezing. <laughs> um, I'm still using my pregnancy pillow. I love it. It's awesome. I, I don't know how I could sleep without it. It's the best. So I definitely would, would recommend a pregnancy pillow if you are pregnant. Um, so I think that's all that I have. Let me just show you a quick baby bump um, update. You can see what my belly looks like at 18 weeks. Okay, so here is my 18 week um, bump. So here it is from the side. And then from the front. And then from the side. So I mean, here, let me turn away from the light. So if you're looking like, look how wide I am. Like, ooh, it's almost a little scary to look at. <laughs> but definitely a bump. Um, it's definitely coming out. Um, you can definitely, I think you can definitely tell I'm pregnant when I'm wearing like, this shirt's a little baggy, but like you can definitely tell like there's a bump whenever I have a shirt on. So it's very exciting to see. So I think that's all. Um, that concludes my week 18 bump date. Stay tuned for next week. You're not going to want to miss it. I'm going to have pictures of a baby Denzel 3d 4d they're gonna be amazing um, I just can't wait so do not miss it it's gonna be awesome bye guys